In 2025, customer retention is more crucial than ever. And the best customer win by Klaviyo flow can bring back customers back like clockwork. In this video, I'm going to show you the exact Klaviyo flow that's re-engaging lost customers and driving thousands in repeat sales for more than the 40 e com brands that we work with at our email marketing agency. Stick with me and by the end of this video, you'll be ready to set up a winning win back flow to make 2025 your best year yet. But first, let's discuss why it's so important to have a customer win back flow in the first place. The first reason is the high customer acquisition costs. So acquiring new customers have become way more expensive with ad costs rising across platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Google. And for many brands, the customer acquisition cost is eating into their profits, making it harder to scale sustainably. And a customer win flow is a cost-effective way to generate revenue from your existing customers. Since this flow is focusing on the people who've already engaged with your brand before, they already done a purchase at your store. So by targeting your current existing customers, the people who already know your brand, you can skip out on the hefty acquisition costs and you can actually work with an audience that's way easier to convert. So this approach not only improves your return on investment, but also helps balance out the high costs of acquiring new customers for your brand. The second reason why you should have a customer win back flow is because of the customer churn and its lost revenue. And let's be real, customer churn is inevitable for any business, but it becomes a problem when your retention efforts aren't strong enough to keep past customers engaged. And for e-commerce brands, a high churn rate means lost revenue and missed opportunities to actually build that loyalty within your customer base. And that's why the customer win back flow is designed to build that loyalty by reactivating the customers that are drifting away. And a customer win back flow is also increasing the chances that you're turning your first time buyer into a loyal returning customer. So it can help you increase the customer life and value of each customer within your brand. So now I told you why the customer win back flow is so important for your e-commerce brand. Now let me tell you a bit more about this customer win back flow. So in a nutshell, the customer win back flow is a flow designed to make sure that people who haven't bought from your brand in a while will return to your store and will do a second, third, fourth purchase at your store. So it's specifically targeted to those who were once active shoppers and haven't bought from your brand in let's say the last 60 to 90 days. And the purpose of each email in this flow is to basically re-engage those people to address potential reasons for them why they haven't shopped for a while at your brand and to get them to buy once again from your store. And you want to do this by showing personalized recommendations, showing your new arrivals or bestsellers, or simply a reminder of their past purchase and the positive experiences with your brand. Now, as an email marketing agency, I've seen a ton of customer win back flows with more than hundreds of e-commerce brands out there. So let me tell you the top three things that I often see go wrong with a customer win back flow. The biggest mistake I often see is that the timing is wrong. So they're sending this flow too early or way too late. The second mistake I see is that this flow is too sales heavy. The so e-com brands like to give away discounts straight away to win back lost customers. And the third mistake that I often see is that it lacks optimization. So e-commerce brands are not running A-B tests on the customer win back flow to optimize the results over time. So what is the right way of doing it? First of all, split test the ideal timing and look at the data to give you a good starting point. For some brands, it makes more sense to start after 60 days. For some other brands, it makes more sense to start after 120 days. And the second thing that you want to do is that you want to build a connection first and give discounts later in your flow, but not immediately. And the third thing, lastly, is that you should run a B test continuously to optimize results over time. And by doing that, you'll get way better results. So how to set up this flow in Klaviyo? Let me show you in our demo account. So if you're in your Klaviyo account, in the left menu, you click on flows and then in the top right corner, you hit create flow. And then immediately you see at start with the essentials, you see a customer win back flow standard. So we can click on that and then you already see a default flow. So let's call this customer win back demo and create flow. And then if you click on trigger, you'll see that the main trigger is placed order and there are no trigger filters. There's one profile filter which is placed order zero times since starting this flow because obviously when you have multiple emails in this flow, if someone has done a purchase, you don't want them to receive the rest of your customer win back flow. Then if you take a look at this default Klaviyo flow, you see that their default time delay is 75 days. But again, this is something that you should optimize for your specific brand. And then by default, they use a two part sequence in this case. So two emails in this flow separated by a 15 day time delay. So this already gives you a good base to start with, but this is not the exact structure that I would recommend for your e-commerce brand. So this is the structure that I would actually recommend for you for a winning customer win backflow. 
So first of all, we have the flow trigger. So as I just showed you, that's placed order. And then you want to have a time delay to decide when you want to send the first email. So in general, I always recommend to send it after at least 60 to 90 days. But again, as I said before, look at the data of your Shopify account and make sure to run a split test to basically pinpoint the exact best time delay for your specific e-commerce brand. And then the flow filter is place order zero times since starting this flow. And then the structure that we like to use is a, is a five part sequence where in the first email, we just send a we miss you email. Two days later, we send a new arrivals email. Ten days later, we give away a discount for the first time, so only after two emails. In email four, we're going to give a reminder on the discount. And the same for email five, it's going to be the final discount reminder. Now let's get into the specifics of each email. So first of all, email one. So the goal of this email is to reconnect with the customer using Using a friendly we miss you approach so we're not giving away a discount it's just a subtle reminder about your brand and any new products available so what needs to be inside a we miss you angle simple friendly body copy and you want to highlight new arrivals or if that's applicable a company update and over here you see an example of one of our clients where we say miss you let's continue the celebration shop now and hey name it's been forever we miss you we're popping in to remind you to celebrate your life your friends and most importantly you if life has been a little hectic now's the perfect time to hit pause silly chats is the perfect way take a moment for yourself and reconnect with the people who matter most and then a check it out button so again a friendly tone of voice and just a subtle reminder of the brand now for each email also have a lot of subject line and preview text ideas that you can literally steal and copy paste into your own custom WinMac flow. If you want to have access to this full guide, including the email examples, the subject line ideas and the brief text ideas, make sure to hit the first link in the description, to get access to this guide for free. Next up is email two. So the goal of the second email is to prompt action by making them reconsider your brand. So you want to use a light, are you still interested angle? And you want to focus even more on your new arrivals. So what needs to be inside? A similar layout to email one. A do you still like us angle since we already said that we miss them. And you want to show your new arrivals with specific recommendations when that's possible, of course. So an email example that you see in here is from Surreal where they say time to start spooning. Seriously, they are moving fast. Come back and dive into the goodness and then a call to action button dive back in and then they recommend the candy kittens in this case and then the reviews are in with a review and complete your order so this is a great example of a customer winback email that you can literally copy paste for yourself and again if you want to have access to the subject line ideas and the brief text ideas make sure to download the free guide by clicking the link in the description next up is email three and with email three we want to offer a good discount to show our appreciation of them being a part of our brand so what needs to be inside this email again you can use the we miss you angle and you want to give away the highest discount possible and not only that you also want to mention that this is the highest discount possible to really showcase that you're showing your appreciation for them and that you're giving them the best offer possible and the bonus if you can give personalized product recommendations for this person so a way that you can do that is by loading in a data feed with your product so an email example that you see in here is from tiesta t we've missed you here's 50 percent off but in here it will showcase the unique coupon and shop and save 50 percent and then it's been a while and then some recommendations and a reminder of the discount code again and then we give some recommendations for some teas that they might like and then a call to action button and so really simple you just give away discount code you mention this is the highest discount possible and you give some personalized recommendations and then we're already at email four so the goal of this email is pretty simple you just want to give a reminder reminder of the discount that you gave them in the previous email but you now want to insert a lot of urgency by mentioning the fact that this discount is expiring in 48 hours and again it works best if you can give personalized product recommendations so people know what to do with the discount code you just gave them so an email example that you see in here is from seedspin 15% off your next order we can't hold your discount code for much longer your one time 50% off code expires in 48 hours use code with a new coupon and shop 50% off and you may like these and then some recommendations for this specific person and also some social proof by showing a review and then the last email of the sequence which is email five and this email want to give one more reminder of the discount code that we gave them in email three but now we use an urgency of just 24 hours left and not only that we want to make this a plain text email from the founder to give it more of a personal feel and this is great for email deliverability as well sometimes a designed email may land in the spam box but a plain text email in general tends to land more in the primary 
inbox. So you have more chance that people will actually see and open your emails. So what needs to be inside? A personal message from the founder, a reminder of the discount code that you gave them in email three, but now with the urgency that the code is expiring in 24 hours, a final call to action to redeem. And again, it has to be a plain text email to give it more of a personal feel. So a simple email example that you can use is something like, hey name, it's founder's name here from brand name. I just wanted to reach out and thank you personally for being a part of our community. We noticed it's been a while since your last purchase and I wanted to make sure you didn't miss out on our exclusive offer. There's something you've been eyeing, now's the time. You've got 24 hours left to use your 50% discount before it expires. Just click the link below to shop with your special savings. Use code unique coupon and then the call to action shop now and save. This isn't just about the savings. It's about letting you know how much we appreciate having you here. If there's anything you need, just hit reply. We're always here to help. Looking forward to welcoming you back. Founder's name, founder of brand name. So it is a really simple template. You can literally steal if you download the guide for free by clicking the link underneath this video. And that's how you can set up the best customer win flow in Klaviyo to re-engage past customers and to boost your sales all year long in 2025. Now, if you're looking to take your email marketing to the next level, check out my full course on the best email marketing calendar in 2025. It covers everything you need to know to plan and execute a winning email strategy all year long in 2025. So click here to watch it. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it. And also make sure to subscribe to this channel if you want more tips on how to grow your e-commerce brand with email marketing. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.